Hey there, welcome back to Lead Coding. Today we are solving the problem reverse a string. The problem description is write a function that reverses a string. The input string is given as an array of characters. Now, the first solution that we are going to discuss is we can create an answer which is of type care and the size of the answer would be same as the size of the given vector of characters. So let us take n as the size. Now we are creating answer of size n. Now what we can do is we can start traversing from the back of the given string given a uh, vector of characters s. So we can run a for loop for int i is equal to n minus 1 i greater than equal to 0 i minus minus and we can start inserting from the beginning of the answer so we will have to take another variable j is equal to 0 and we can do answer of j equal to s of i and we can increment j. So this is the very basic solution to the given problem. We are able to reverse the given string s but it is given that do not allocate extra space for another array. You must try to do this modify the input array itself. So we have to do this uh, problem in place. In place means we cannot use another auxiliary array to store the answer. So what we can do is we can try to modify the given string as itself. So for that what we can do is let us say we have the given string as hello h e l l o. Now if we write the reverse of this we are going to get o l l e and h. Now in this we can see that the first and the last character they are swept the the positions are now swept same with the second and the second last character while the middle character remains as it is so this is what we have to do we have to swap the first character with the last character the second character with the second last the third character with the third last so how we can achieve this so first let us get rid of the auxiliary array that we used and now we are going to use two pointers this is the starting pointer which will be pointing to the first element this is the end pointer which is pointing to the last element now we have to swap the first element with the last one and then we have to increment the st to the second element and we have to decrement the end to the second last element so we can run a while loop while st is smaller than end we have to swap so yeah to swap I'm using a character temp character temp is equal to s of st this is the starting character and I will make s of st as s of end and then I will overwrite as of end with the temp so this is how we perform swap so basically what I'm doing I'm storing whatever content is there in at the starting element into a temporary variable then I'm overwriting the starting element with that of the last one and then I am overwriting the last element with the value which is stored in temp now what we have to do is we have to do start plus plus we are incrementing the start and end minus minus 
decrementing the end. Let us try to run this. So it is giving us correct answer. Now instead of doing these three steps, what we can do is we can use the function swap. st comma s e so it is going to handle all these all those uh, three steps and again we are going to get correct answer all right so in the solution that we discussed previous to this we were using big o of n time as well as big o of n space because we were creating answer an auxiliary array of size n so the space and the time complexity both were big of n in the previous one in this one we are not using any auxiliary space uh, in these three steps we use a temporary variable which is just a constant space constant extra space so uh, the space complexity of this solution is going to be constant that is big of 1 the time complexity again it is going to be big of n because we are again traversing throughout the array although we are uh, only traversing it n by 2 times but then n by 2 is uh, again big of n in terms of big O notation now this another thing that we can do instead of writing the entire thing what we can do is we can use the standard template library there's an algorithm which is called reverse that works on containers such as strings vectors and other such containers so we are given a vector of character we can simply apply that algorithm so that algorithm is reverse and it is going to take two argument the iterator which is pointing to the beginning of the container that is s dot begin and another iterator which is pointing to the end of the container that is s dot end now this will swap all those elements uh, in the similar way that we have done in the previous solution but we it is it is just like an interface to that we are just utilizing this uh, algorithm from the standard template libraries let us see if we get the correct result So again it got accepted now whenever I am uh, I'm taking an algorithm or a container from the standard template library what you can do is if you don't know about that container you can search that on the website which is c++.com so there's a whole list of the containers the whole list of the algorithms that we can use from the standard template library this is the function that we have used in this question which is reverse so this is the behavior so this is the behavior of the algorithm it is doing almost the same thing that we have done in the previous solution that we discussed also we can see it doesn't return any value it just takes the container and it is just going to swap the elements one by one and reverse all the values which is present inside the container itself without re uh, without returning anything you can also see an example how it works then you can learn about the complexities it is linear see linear in half the distance between the first and the last so first and the last are the iterators which are pointing to the beginning and the end of the container and it is n by 2 so the time complexity is big O of n and the space complexity is constant which we get to know by looking at how this algorithm actually works so whenever there's a new algorithm that I'm using in my code you can always refer to this website and you can learn about it by looking at the examples looking at the behavior the parameters which is uh, which it is going to take and the return values so this is it for the solution if you like the video please share it with your friends and hit the subscribe button thank you